Back in 2008 when we lived in Korea, we first started uploading videos to YouTube that were tutorials on how to do stuff in your life, like how to throw out your garbage, or how to load up your subway card, or how to use your Korean washing machine. But now that we've been living in Japan, it's time for us to do a video in the spirit of how we started. I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to wash your butt with a Japanese toilet. Oh, I'm sorry, were we in the middle of a, let me just put this back in my anime corner. Or my manga corner, or as everyone on the street calls it, manga. Allow me to introduce you to my washlet, which came with the house. We didn't upgrade. This is like kind of like a, a medium car of washlets, I'd say. Yeah. Not an economy, maybe like a sports or a compact. I'd say this is like a like a Saturn. What up, y'all? Neighbors needs you to evacuate the premises. Someone needs to just. Neighbors has his own business. Own, he, he needs, needs to, to use do. The toilet. Before we discuss toilet functions, I want to show you something amazingly cool. So, um, this is the toilet paper station in Japan. That's literally how you change it. You just take it and you pull it out. It has these amazing little flippity flap doodas. So you just take it and it goes, oh, it's in now. And you just let go and close it. Why am I? So the basic features that you need to know are the spray function, Oshiri, which to me looks like a battle axe or those like grappling hooks you see in spy movies. No, it's, okay, it just, it looks like a flower, okay? So it's got a like stem a flower, in the middle. But there's no And it's got two part. petals. It's like a tulip. It looks like a tulip, you could say. Some people have grappling hooks. Some people see flowers, whatever tickles your fancy. But there have been cases that we've gone to washrooms in Japan that are kind of like sleek and metal looking. So you do need to know the symbol. The most basic toilet comes with that one button that you push, Oshiri, which is your butt spray. It's kind of like a nice way of saying arse or buttocks, maybe like buttocks spray, I guess. Like what would be like the correct term for that? Um, I think it's Burt spray. your- B-U-R- so Some people are a little creeped out about the idea that there is something that comes out and sprays water because they're like, ew, that's gross. Isn't gonna be icky, but it's not because it stays inside of the toilet safely and covered. And it has like a little sanitization function that's happening. Like a little turtle head. Like a little turtle head. That's a really nice way to see it. If you sit down on it, it and you press the button, then it goes and so if you're like, oh no, I don't want butt sprayed. There's a stop button, it's square. You just push it, you just say stop. And then later on, when you're finished with spraying, you can use a little bit of toilet paper just to kind of make sure that you don't have a damp butt. There's a lot less toilet paper that you use Way as a less result. toilet paper. And it's like super clean. It's, I love it. I love it. But wait, there's more. Perhaps you had extremely spicy Indian food the day before. There is a button that you can press to adjust the pressure of the water. Do experiment with the different pressure settings, okay? No two buttholes are the same. Some like it really high intense spray and some like it really gentle. So fiddle around, find what works best for you and your butthole and you will have a very pleasant cleaning experience. It's like a shower for your butthole. Right. It's a nice warm shower. Our washlet even comes with a uh, massage function, which I was very scared to press at first. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Two little fists come out. I'm like, oh. what is it gonna be? No, the water just kind of like pulses a little bit gently, like a fountain. And you can also adjust the water temperature. Too icy cold or too super hot. And you might be like, why would I need to adjust that? Well, let me tell you, bring it on back. Cocoa curry, level 10 curry, spice burns. You're gonna want some cooling butt water. But wait, there's more. There's also a button that says bidet and it's meant to be specifically for women. The wand that's for spraying your butt, her, will come out a little bit further and then it will spray other girly parts. I was a little bit confused about this at first because bidet to me was almost like a universal term. Like in Europe, they'll call yeah, it, right? In Europe, it's not just for women, right. it's for both. Bidet just means kind of like unisex. It's nothing to do with it being male or female. It's simply just the location of the wand. Have you ever been up in the middle of the night in the winter and you go to the washroom and you sit down and it's icy, freezing cold? Not a worry here because both of our toilet seats in our house, upstairs and downstairs, are heatable. Yeah, we have a button that can toggle it on and off. So in the winter time, we have the warmest, coziest seats. Never thought I'd be sitting on the ground filming a video in my toilet, but here I am, living the life, making my family proud.
I think it's very important to note that not all Japanese toilets are the same. While in North America, a lot of the toilets are pretty functionally identical. In Japan, they have lots of different brands, recognizable ones like Panasonic, and even what they consider the apple of toilets, Toto Toilets. Toto! We have been looking for a Toto sponsorship forever! It is my dream video to be able to show you a $10,000 toilet. I love the Toto. Hey Ducky. Yes. Do you remember the first time we ever saw our first gourmet Toto toilet? You rushed up to me and you said to me, Girl, you need to go to the washroom right now. Now, what, what I want to ask you is for those of you watching, I have favorite toilet experiences. Like I've had enough that I could actually rank, rank really positive ones. Do you have any toilet experiences which you're like, wow, that was a great time. I have that all the time in Japan. I could even rank my favorite ones. In Fukuoka was my best toilet experience ever. Me too. Right? You walk up to the toilet and then as soon as you do, it senses that you're coming and the seat lifts up. It's got like this ultraviolet light that's all on the inside as well that's disinfecting everything. You sit on it, it's almost kind of like it knows your body better than you know your body. <laughs> all right, it's like, it's like but you know, you're, you're, a Latin lover. <laughs> <laughs> Lava. <laughs> Simon is getting distracted in the weeds here. The UV thing that he's talking about is real. They have like nanotech technology where it coats the toilet bowl after each use. So it prevents things from sticking and it removes stains automatically when you walk away. It like closes it and just does its own thing. Like, what? I think it's easier to think of Japanese toilets as different kinds of cars. Like you could have the economy car that just has like the basic functionality, or you could go like really luxury and high end when it comes to your car, and you could spend a lot more and have a great experience. With that in mind, I'd like to say the North American toilets are like the horse and buggy, all right? We need some kind of industrial revolution to happen uh. in North America because y'all are living in medieval times. For real, the first week when you and I come back in Canada, we walk different. It's almost like those videos when you see like you put socks on cats' feet and they walk weird. I don't feel right within the first week of using a Canadian toilet. And what do we do to cope with it? We usually get wet wipes. Baby we, wipes. We bring baby wipes with us everywhere because just wiping your butt with dry paper is not enough. Think of it this way. If you're walking by and a bird takes a dump on you or you happen to walk past a hippo that does a spinning tail thing and you get some poop around you or if you're just around a human baby, you know that if you get poop on you, you can't just wipe it away with dry paper. That's not enough. You're gonna run for the sink. You need water. Your butthole deserves the same treatment that your arm would if it gets covered in poop, right? Say your butthole is not a second class you're citizen right. of your body. You Treat that with the respect that it deserves and wash your butt the right way with the Japanese toilet. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our upstairs bathroom. Almost identical to our downstairs bathroom. However, we don't have the cool shelf with all of our books here. It's so small that in order for me to buy soap, I had to buy that magnetic suction cup thingy and you shove your soap into it. And I it can literally can, touch like, both walls with my elbows very, very, very easily. Oh, hello. Do you want to be in this video too? Come on in. No scratches. All right, come here. You're a part of the video now. No. A very interesting fact for you to note is that even though these toilet seats aren't on every single Japanese toilet, they're still on majority of them. 81% of toilets as of 2016 have these little washlet systems on them. In Japan, that is. In Japan, that's correct. I just got very distracted by my adorable cute cat, cat giving me looking my face. Okay, come on. I'm trying to I'm trying to put food on the table here. So these washlets are very common. However, you will notice that in Japan, a lot of the toilets have outlets right beside them because these washlets operate on electricity. So some countries, I think there are some rules in which you can't have an outlet that close to the toilet. So I'm not sure if this is as easily translatable elsewhere, but in Japan, if you're by a toilet, you'll probably see a socket and not in many other countries. Why are you standing? I just want to be a part of the video. What? You're a cat on all fours, please. <laughs> the one thing the Japanese toilets haven't solved yet, the witch's kiss. And if you know, you know. I don't know. Um, then it's not a problem that bothers you, is it? <laughs> I can't. He's too cute. Go away. Pardon. Is that Excuse our fat me. cat Pardon squeezing me. his way through if our tripod? You could just get out of the way, Mom. Jelly Belly. 
There's one function in Japanese Hoyas that I actually don't agree with. There's a button that you can push that will play a sound that will mask the fart sounds that you make as you're letting them rip. I find this completely unnecessary. Wow, I am baffled with your commentary on this point. Well, think about I it this way. I absolutely love it. The, wa okay. rushing, the flushing water sounds, the rushing meadow sounds. When you go to an opera and you sit down, you expect to hear opera. When you go to a toilet, you should expect to hear some shit. You don't have to cover that up. Yeah, I just don't want to hear it. It's not that complicated. I don't want to hear it. I, if everyone... If you had the choice of listening to opera everywhere you go, then why not? That sound that you're talking about was, I think, invented by Toto. They made like a, a, a button that was called like the princess sound and it had different kinds of sounds that would help cover up noises because they found that women in Japan were flushing the toilet up to two times in order to cover up the sounds, which I did totally the same. Oh. Please let me know in the comment section if you've ever been like, this isn't going to be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's an automatic sound that just goes off automatically and it sounds just like flushing water. So nobody can tell the difference because all the toilet stalls are going and they even have volume control. So if you had an especially bad day, you're like cranking up the volume. You have like calm the water beast flow. DJ. <laughs> I'm about to drop a hot one. Thank you for watching our video on Japanese toilets. We I... contemplated how we were going to end this. <laughs> this is the best conclusion we, we came up this? with. I hope that you feel encouraged now to embrace the beauty of Japanese yeah. toilets. Don't be afraid when you get on there. None of the buttons that you push are going to do anything wrong. There's eject no eject button. Yeah. button. There's no pro button. You'll be fine and you come out a lot cleaner, a lot fresher, and a lot more pep in your step as you progress with your day. Hey, good job on that conclusion. Thank you. I would not have been able to pull that out of my butt. Speaking of pulling things out of your butt, I'm curious about what toilets are like in your country. Like, do you guys have bidets? Do you have washlets? Do you use that water pail? Please let us know in the comment section below and let us know what country you're from. Yes. Speaking of pulling things out of our butts. They just seem like right. That's a good one. You're talking about butts? You know, we were actually trying to figure out different puns for washroom humor, we couldn't. Like when you say, I have to go make a deposit, and then everyone's like, what do you mean? And you go to the washroom. Or when you're like, I need to remove some money from the ATM, or I need to, what are they? What are those things? Leave a golden tukey in the toilet? Isn't that okay. too strict? You've had a long day. You've had a long day. There you go. There you go. Hush, little one. Only sleep now. Only dreams. Whoa! Whoa! Yep, we survived the typhoon so we could give you a video about how to wash your butt. If you want to learn a little bit more about Japanese culture, we did this interesting TLDR on how to recycle, also very confusing here in Japan. Or if you like, we got some bloopers, so make sure you click on them here if you want some more laughs. Bye bye!